Michael Jackson and X27 is innocent and X27 ads banned from the News Corp is a network of leading companies in the worlds of diversified media, news, education, and information services. Transport for London said the posters had been rejected due to the public sensitivity and concern around their content. Adverts claiming Michael Jackson is innocent have been banned from the site of London buses after a public outcry. The posters were crowdfunded by Jacko supporters in response to a On the Singer that featured explosive allegations of sexual abuse against the late musician. With the word innocent across his mouth and the statement facts Don and X27. T lie. People do as well as the Survivors Trust said the message, which appeared on buses as well as at bus stops, could discourage victims of sexual assault from coming forward. In a statement to BBC Radio 1 Newsbeat, TFL said we have reviewed our position and will be removing these advertisements. They have been rejected due to the public sensitivity and concern around their content. They the adverts have been rejected due to the public sensitivity and concern around their content. Twitter users had previously hit out at the Labour Mayor and Transport for London for allowing the posters, with some accusing him of having double standards. One wrote Sadiq Khan reacting to the Michael Jackson innocent ads on London Transport Not possible for me as mayor to go through every advert. Didn't stop him banning Beach Body Ready did it? Another tweeted at Sadiq Khan victim, blaming ads supporting Michael Jackson on London buses. Really? While a third added when it comes down to Michael Jackson, he and X27. LL quite happily allow adverts calling abuse victims liars. This is not okay. And another posted sarcastically great way to discredit victims of sexual abuse at TFL at Sadiq Khan. Fans used crowdfunding websites to get cash for the Jackson adverts in response to the documentary, with over pound 14,000 raised so far. In the film, which aired on Channel 4 last week, accusers on to claim they suffered abuse in Jacko and X27's enormous California mansion he called Neverland. The ads first appeared on February 25th and were due to stay on London buses until March 24th before today in X27's decision. A mayor of London spokesperson said the mayor did not approve this campaign. This was a decision, advert on London bus defending Michael Jackson. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story? Our journalists strive for accuracy, but on occasion we make mistakes. For further details.